Let's talk Stellar Blade. Now, I know many of you out there are very excited to play this game. In fact, if you look at the Sony PlayStation pre-order charts, you'll see that this game is pretty high up there. A lot of people want to play this, and I think the demo helped get this game out even more because a lot of people are out there now actually praising the game's gameplay. And that made me pretty happy. Uh, I'm hopeful this is a really good game. I'd, I'd like it to be more than just a pretty face because that's really what's going to make this game a hit or not, and that's going to come down to the gameplay. If it's just a game with a pretty face, it's going to fade away pretty fast. So I was pretty happy to see everyone having a good time with it, and we'll see what happens when the game comes out. I do think that this game is going to be a massive hit. Uh, the developer has been saying good things like this. Uh, gamers won't be required to spend any additional money beyond the initial purchase. I think that's great. However, uh, there's been a lot of controversy surrounding this game for absolutely no reason. You had the IGN editor-in-chief of their France division having a big, insane meltdown over the game. So much so that he came out and was like, that game's going to kill women it's it's gonna make them depressed and ruin their lives and it was quite hilarious i did a whole video on that go back and watch it but the reason that people are having a meltdown is because western developers want all the female characters to look like this and it's not really going over so well and we all know why they're doing this they're trying to blur the line between men and women it's gotten so bad that the developer of stellar blade thinks that this is going to hurt the game a Stellar Blade developer rejects Western media outlets lampooning game over gender and racial diversity. So now the game isn't diverse enough. That's another thing that's been going around. And it's like, this is a game made in South Korea, man. What are you talking about? So now they're mad the game isn't diverse enough. They're mad she has a nice body, which she does. And the developers have come out and said stuff like, hey... You know, we wanted to, gamers to have the best-looking butt to look at. We put a lot of time into the butt. <laughs> it's just stuff that you don't hear anymore. And a lot of that has helped the game get a lot of popularity. And it's because of what I just showed you with that Fable character. No one wants that. In fact, I remember when that Fable trailer came out, everybody was making fun of that, that I guess, woman. Maybe it's it's a woman. I, I don't even know anymore when it comes to these kinds of Western games. But everybody was making fun of that. And then you get a game like Stellar Blade to come out, and everyone loses their minds and say it's unrealistic. There's no women that really look like that. And they had the best, the best response when they just were like, hey, uh, we're going to go ahead and show you what she looks like. We'll, we'll show you the real model. Uh, Maxim Korea. 1.01 million subscribers. Uh, a night and day difference between the American Maxim, which puts women like Lizzo in their book now, uh, defending the game here. They're defending the game, which I found pretty funny. Uh, all the comments making fun of Western developers here. Uh, but, yeah, here it is. This is the response the developer had. Here's the real-life model. You say women don't look like this, but here's one right here. And nobody's had a response for this. In fact, no, none of the outlets came out and talked about this. Women that look like this get shamed now. They get shamed because they want Lizzo's to be uh, the new body type for everybody. They want, they want men to be in that style now or some shit. Uh, but, you know, as far as the developer being worried about Western journalists hurting this game... I have to say, don't worry. If anything, they're going to help push this game to new heights and sales. Now, we all remember the Hogwarts Legacy stuff that happened. Man, that was last year. Remember what happened with that game? You had journalists losing their minds over it every day, particularly from The Gamer, an outlet trying to be uh, Kotaku Jr., I was putting an article out every day about how uh, Hogwarts Legacy is going to end lives. It's so bad. It's so terrible. And what happened? 
Uh, I would argue that the boycott and the backlash to Hogwarts Legacy propelled that game to new heights that Warner Brothers never knew possible with a game. Uh, that game sold like gangbusters. In fact, it's, it's probably still selling to this day. Uh, I think all of these people bitching about this game is going to cause this game to reach new heights in sales. Just watch. Anyway, that's pretty much it. Let me know what you guys think about all this in the comments below. I would like to hear from you. Also, I'd like to give a shout out to this Twitter handle. This is the art that I put in the thumbnail. Uh, it's great art, and I just want to give a shout out. It's end of line art. Check out his Twitter handle. Anyway, like I said, check out the video. Uh, throw a like up, share the video, subscribe, hit that notification bell, and I will see you on the next one. Peace. Make sure to check out my locals. There's a link in the description. It's a fun community that I'm trying to build over here. If you don't want to support me on YouTube, you can come over here. None of that money goes to YouTube. You also can just come over here for free, but if you are a supporter over here i do plan on doing an extra live stream once a month and throwing links to the supporters so you can actually come on and have a supporter live stream with me also it's a good place to catch all of my content you don't have to worry about notifications like youtube they'll definitely work over here so come check out my locals